All right, let's look at um, the product of an aldol reaction. And once we look at this product, we'll then try to think backwards and see what the starter materials were and see how we would make this compound. So here's a compound. This is an aldol reaction product. It is a beta hydroxy ketone. So there's our alpha carbon and our beta carbon. Um, how, how would we make this compound? And we're going to use an aldol reaction to do it. So um, in moving forward, we're going to make an enolate. Then we're going to attack, use that enolate to attack a carbonyl, typically an aldehyde. And then the last step, we protonate the tetrahedral intermediate. Okay, so this, this, this alcohol formed initially from a tetrahedral intermediate. We must have protonated this tetrahedral as a tetrahedral intermediate. So we would have had this tetrahedral intermediate and that would react with water. So how do we get this tetrahedral intermediate? Well, we had an enolate attacking a carbonyl. There's the alpha carbon, there's beta. The alpha carbon is where the enolate was. So we must have had this enolate at the alpha carbon, and that enolate attacked, that's the bond we're gonna make, attacked what was a beta carbon, but, but it wasn't an alcohol, it was a carbonyl. It started with two bonds to um, the carbon, and then became one once we broke the pi bond to the carbonyl. So that's gonna be one of our uh, reagents. And then, how did we make this enolate? Well, enolates come from ketones, and for the aldol reaction, we need to use LDA. So, how does this? How are we going to write this as a scheme? Not as a mechanism, but as a scheme. We could write this and just say, okay, well, the first step, we're going to react with LDA. The second step, we will add our aldehyde, and then our third step is to add water. So the first step to LDA, this, this makes the enolate. The second step, uh, the enolate, whoops, enolate, attacks the aldehyde, and then we protonate our tetrahedral intermediate. It's really just the same steps that we wrote over here. And our final product will be this molecule, a beta hydroxy ketone and that is a product of our aldol reaction. So this is how you take apart an aldol reaction, I'd say the key step, probably the hardest step, is to be able to look at this molecule and say, oh yeah, that's a beta hydroxy ketone. And once you're able to recognize that as a beta hydroxy ketone, where did we talk about beta hydroxy ketones? This came from an aldol reaction. That initial recognition, I think, is the hardest part. After that, you just work the steps that, that you've already learned backwards. So that's an aldol reaction um, analyzed retrosynthetically from the product to the starting materials.